Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these pom-pom ornaments. These are super fun. You can make them in whatever color you happen to have the yarn for. And I think that they add something, you know, really textural to your tree. In order to make these pom-pom ornaments, all you need is some scissors and some yarn. And then of course you need something to wrap the yarn around. If you have um, pom-pom makers, you can use those or you can use like a piece of cardboard. I, however, am just going to wrap the yarn around my hand. So it makes it even more simple. You're also going to need some string or yarn in order to create a loop so you can hang your pom-pom from the tree. I am using a different color yarn because I like the way that looks, but if you want, you can use the same color yarn that you have. It might make it a little bit, you know, simpler if that's what you want to do, but I liked it with the contrasting color. And you'll need a tapestry needle in order to affix it to the pom-pom. The first thing that you'll need to do though is to cut a length of your yarn Once you have that, that piece set aside, then all you're going to need to do is just wrap the yarn around your hand. So you can, depending on what size you want, just use an, a different number of fingers. I am just going to go like that and just keep on wrapping. I am going to try to keep that little piece separated so that way I know where the end is, but that's just for my own peace of mind. <laughs> don't have to wrap really tight or anything like that. You know, we're not trying to cut your circulation off. <laughs> Just keep going. Hopefully this isn't making you dizzy. <laughs> Just keep going. Because I'm using my whole hand, you know, you want the the amount you have to be kind of, um, well, it doesn't really matter what you're using to do it. You want it to be kind of thick and chunky so that way your pom-pom is nice, thick, and chunky. You don't want it to be sparse looking, though that can work for certain things. Just not the look I'm going for today. Okay, so we've wrapped until the end of the yarn. Um, I just happen to have enough to make it good and full and we're going to trim it down too so if it's not um if you think it's not full enough right away it'll be okay because we're going to trim it down to where it will be full looking okay so what we have to do is just loosely take it off of your hand keep your fingers there because you don't want the middle to collapse otherwise you have to rewind it you are going to take your scrap yarn the cut the piece that we cut from before and you're going to thread it through the middle and then just lay it down and I will tie a knot I like to tie a good tight knot on one side if you have a helper it's good to have them come in for this step so that way you can have that knot nice and tight. Okay, and then what I like to do is go ahead and put the the scrap yarn or the I keep saying scrap yarn, but the the strand of yarn. I'm going to thread it back through the hole. Find it again. There we go. Basically, I find that this makes the middle part a little bit more secure, so that's why I, I tend to do that. Be careful not to grab your loops, which I just did accidentally. Okay, so I've got that one side on this side, and then this one, I'm going to go ahead and thread through to the other side. Then we're going to turn this over. Well, actually, we're going to go to the side like this. You're trying to find where it is opposite of there, and that's where you're going to tie the second knot. So if you let it dangle down, and 
pull it tight, knot it. I almost made a bow. We're not going for a bow, we're going for a knot. Okay, tighten it down. And then what I like to do is line those two up. You can see where the, the credit kind of indent. And then keeping that middle yarn out of there. Or the little loops and stuff you want it to kind of be. There we go. So I've got that on that one side. And then on this side, this one's a little bit more of a mess. But you just kind of have to separate it out. You can just tie a, a knot from the around the entire thing if you want to, but I I want it to be extra extra secure. Okay. And once you get that up there, then go ahead and tie another knot. And you can turn it around and do the same thing on this side too. I don't want my, I don't want this, uh, <laughs> I don't want this to come apart. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and cut, cut that, but what I'm going to do is just leave that for now, and you're going to try to find the middle with your scissors, and you're just cutting it, cutting all of the loops. shorter ones in there. Go ahead and get those. Okay. And do the same thing for the other side. You probably have some that are longer, some that are shorter. It just is what it is. If you have some that are in there and that are left over, they'll either get cut when you're when we're shrinking it down, or they'll be so buried in there that you'll never know. Either way is fine. Let me go ahead and get some of this fuzz out of the way. Okay, so what you're left with is basically a big old ball of stuff. You can go ahead and look at it and see if there's anything in there that needs to be cut. Just remember, we don't want to cut the middle part, the part that it tied, but yeah. Now here comes the nice, fun, messy part. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to shape it up. What you're going to do is just, you're just trimming it down. This is going to make a, a bit of a mess. You're just trimming down all of the long parts. My scissors are not super fantastic, but they're going to get the job done. And our goal is to have a floofy little pom-pom. You can make it shaggy if you want, but the floofy ones are what we're going for today. Just keep cutting. Just turning the pom pom as you go. Be careful with your fingers, don't cut them.
starting to kind of take shape a little bit. Found a thing I didn't cut in there. You might want to do this over a trash can by, <laughs> by chance, but whatever. I actually, sometimes I'll save this and I'll use it um, as stuffing for uh, like toys and things that I make. It makes good use of that so that way you're not just throwing it away. Alright, we're just going to keep cutting until the pom-pom looks like what you want it to look like. But we want it to be nice and full. So that way it's not um, like you can't see like big gaps in it or anything like that. And of course, you know, it needs to be somewhat rounded. Well, it doesn't have to be, but I want a round pom-pom, so that's what we're going for. Okay, once you have your pom-pom the size and shape that you want it to be in, and the level of fluffiness, of course. What you need to do now is figure out a way to affix it to the tree. Now, you can, if you have some more of the yarn left over, you can, of course, use it to make the same color, or what I like to do is use a contrasting color. So for that, you just need to get out your tapestry needle and your strand of thread or yarn. This is yarn and you just thread your needle mine has little sparkly bits that are going to get caught but okay now you need to feel the pom-pom you can feel the middle where the where you made the knots in you want to kind of go through that you want to just go through that the middle and see and if i pull up if i grab it like that and pull it's not going anywhere so it's secured through that middle section. And then you can just take your needle off. And all we're going to do now is just tie it tight. Make a knot. Grab some more fuzz off of there, and then we're going to come up, make the loop as long as you want, and make another knot, and we're going to make a bow at the top. Again, you can use the yarn if you want to. I actually think it looks cute with the contrasting color. And we're just going to make a bow. Pull that tight. Trim the excess strands. Make sure you grab the, the right ones when you're cutting them. And there you have it. You have your little pom-pom ornament. You can see it's hard to get it all in frame, but there's the bow at the top. There you go. What do you think? You can make these in a variety of sizes, you know, just whatever, however big you want them to be or small. And they're a great alternative to, you know, traditional, like, metal ornaments. Like, I've got some over here. There we go. Um, you know, you can use these if you have, if you're worried about, you know, things breaking. The only thing I'd say you need to be worried about is maybe if you have cats, um, because I know that I will have to extra secure these to my tree. I have two cats, and they will want to play with them. So just be careful for that. That's all I've got for you today. See you next time. Bye!